If you're fed up of drinking cold coffee or having to heat it back up in the microwave, I recommend you get one of these mug warmers. You're never gonna have a cold coffee again. And to turn the heated plate on, there's a power button on the side. You just press this, and then you'll get the LED display on the bottom. Bottom temperature is what you've set the temperature to. The line at the top is what the current mug is at. Now we don't have a mug on there, but when we put the mug on, it will read that's 111, and if we want that to be 166 degrees, we can then wait until this sets. If you want to change the temperature that you want your coffee at, or whatever hot liquid you have, you can press this down, and it will change. And then after five seconds, if you're not pressing the button, you'll get a double beep, and that's say it's set to this temperature, and then the heating pad will work at getting your drink to that temperature. If you want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, hold these two buttons down for Two seconds and now we're in celsius and to change it back hold them down again this little symbol here is the cup recognition sensor when you remove the cup it will go away as the sensor doesn't recognize there's a cup there and when you put it back down it will sense that you also want to make sure that the sensors on the back of this front display here are not blocked and the sensor in the back here. These two work together to determine if there's a mug on the plate because the heating pad won't be on if there's no mug there. And the other one determines how hot this mug actually is. If you like the sound of your coffee staying warm for a long period of time, then check out the link in the description below and get one of these for yourself. Or get it as a gift because these would make an excellent gift for anyone who loves coffee or tea. We'll give a little test here and see how well this works in keeping this coffee warm. We've got some fresh coffee here. We have around 170 degrees for this coffee here, so let's put it on the plate and see if we can keep it at 170. Set this to 170. Now, this is reading that the outside of the mug is a little bit warmer, so we're just going to put this to the max and see if we can keep this at the max temperature, which is 175 for this system here, and it goes all the way down to 105. If you hold this at the temperature that we have set, if we don't move our mug for two hours, it's going to turn off. And if we take our mug off of here for 15 minutes, it's going to auto power off as well. Let's come back in five minutes and see if we're still at the same temperature. You want to keep your liquid as hot as possible. I'd recommend putting a lid on it. It also comes with a spoon. So if you need to stir anything, you can leave the spoon in there. And you've got this little ceramic lid that you can put on the top here. And it is recommended to use the Ikigo, Ikigo, however you say that, one of their mugs for best temperature reading and performance of the heating pad transferring the heat to the mug. If you're going to be using a mug that's not from Ikigo, make sure it is no larger than three and a half inches. That means you're going to get the optimum heating from this pad here. And then the max diameter that you can use is 4.4 inches, but it's not the recommended diameter for the bottom of a mug. About five minutes have passed. You can see that the top temperature has dropped down to 175. That's because this is the max temperature that this Heating pad can keep the drink out, but let's just see what the liquid temperature is. In here. And the temperature of this coffee is around about 154 degrees, so a little bit cooler than when it started, but that's perfect drinking temperature. And when you remove the mug, it turns from green to blue to red, which means there's no mug being sensed by the sensor on the heating pad here. So you take a drink and then you can put the mug back down. And let's take a little sip there, so I don't imagine it's lost too much temperature. You can see here, straight back up to 171 degrees, and this will keep heating it up until it gets to 175, but that coffee was still hot. You can see we're back up to 175 degrees, it didn't take too long until this heating pad warmed this coffee back up. It's going to save me putting this in the microwave, or having to drink cold coffee, or just going and getting a new coffee. So it's going to save a ton of time and a ton of money on wasted coffee. So if you need a heating pad like this to make sure your coffee doesn't get cold or anything else you're drinking, recommend this heating pad right here.